data what you see on your screen is the sales data for a company which will keep on increasing with every month every week and while you are working with such a data for your uh, uh, work uh, for your uh, pivot tables etc you need to refresh the pivot table range month after month you need to change the uh, source data month after month however if you use dynamic range references you will do away with that problem forever how to use that is what i will show you right now i have defined a dynamic range by the name of data range for this table uh, with the use of offset function i'll just show you how it is done and how it will help us in managing our data month after month week after week if you see i have used offset function to define the data range this currently shows you that reference point for the data range is cell b3 data range starts zero rows away from the reference point zero columns away from the reference point it means cell b3 itself count a for column b defines the used number of rows and thus defines the height of the data table 4 is the number of columns in that data table or the width of data table with this we have defined the data table range which is a dynamic range and i'll just show you how it will the same formula or the same data range will increase with the addition of data if you see i have just increased data for week 1 of month of march in the table and with the same range name now the data table range has changed i have not made any change in the data range definition it's the same as we have seen before with the use of this data range in our pivot tables we can do away with month after month defining of the source data thank you